weighed in at an even 229 pounds. This gentleman is undefeated in 21 professional bouts with 15 knockouts. He is ranked number seven by the World Boxing Association from Cincinnati, Ohio. Here is the challenger, Teddy TNT Cubs. Cubs. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the blue and red trim. He weighed in at 239 and one half pounds. This young man has a record of 24 wins, three losses with 19 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, from Louisville, Kentucky, the, ring. the Royal Boxing Association heavyweight champion, Greg Page. Page. Keep the gloves closed. I don't want no thumbing. When I say break, give me a backward step, and then I'll make it continue to box it. Because of the knockdown, I'll put you in a neutral corner. Even if I count to eight, stay in that corner. Don't come out till I call you. You understand that? You understand that? Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. And here's how they compare. They're both 26 years of age, fought together as amateurs. Similar in height, 10 pound weight difference. But Page, the heavier, of course, and not much difference in the way of reach between these two. Cubs undefeated, 15 knockouts, but not face the same caliber of competition. Round one, scheduled 15, WBA heavyweight championship on the line in Buffalo. Page will look much taller than Tubbs because Tubbs slides and glides and bends a little. He don't stand as tall as Page. Now, Page told me he's going to knock out Tubbs. He wants to get him out of there. I don't know what, there's an axe to grind between him or what. That's what he I, told me before the fight. I think so. I, I noticed that when, uh, when Page stepped in the ring, he, he looked at Tubbs, uh, pointed to the, to the mat, and then stomped it like, Telling them that's where you're going to be uh, next once the fight starts. And indeed, he has come right after it. And of course, he is buoyed by that stunning knockout of Kotsia in South Africa, December the 1st, that turned his career around. Punch and Page takes what action there is to him in round number one. You know, I think it's Tubbs making a big mistake. Every time uh, Page throws punches at him, he leans, he pulls back with his head up in the air. I think that's a big mistake to be, to be making. It's a left hook he throws and he's pulling way out with it. He's leaving himself left wide open for a right hand counter, a left hook, either one. Page jabbing, but coming up short with it. Tough trying to catch him on the way in. Surprising to me that Page tells he's going to knock this guy out, because this guy is undefeated. Pretty good fighter. It's going to be a difficult fight. Uh, but Page is, may, may make a mistake looking to load up and get him out of there early. Well, Page being almost 240 doesn't want this to go too long, I wouldn't think, in terms of stamina. Well, I'll tell you, he, he, he's been training. It just, I don't know, he just can't get that weight down. I mean, it's something going to have to live with. I know the Cubs has not gone past. Oh, to the left there, past 10 rounds. He would fire 15, 18 rounds a day the last little while. He's trying to get himself ready for the eventuality of a 15 round bout. All right, enough, Don. Carlos will back this up. You don't have to spar 15 rounds to box 15 rounds. You spar to get into condition. Not Physical end of it is more important. Right. Not quite the same as actually being there as he is right now. With 20 seconds to go in the first round. Page coming out. Rather fiercely. Took off that and said, no, that didn't hurt me. That isn't good enough. So we get down to the final seconds of round number one. Back after this word from your local station. Don Chevrier, Carlos Palomino, and Angelo Dundee at ringside. Second round, scheduled 15. WBA World Heavyweight crowd on the line. Greg Page and Tony Tubbs. Tony Tubbs just did a no-no. 
Tony Tubb just did a no no car. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Pulling back. Bounce right up again. And that's a slip. He won't even he won't even take the cow. And that was that thing that I mentioned. He keeps pulling his head back. Yep. Watch itself open. That all tangled up and off balance. I say going Good body down, shot by Page, the left hand. Going down like that, thank God for the new insulized padding, the safety padding. It does improve the fighter going down like that on the haunches. But it has unsettled him here in the second round. Page moving his shoulders and head back and forth now. Page is having some problems with his... Uh, with his left eye is very red in there. It looks like he uh, might have uh, taken a shot right on the eye. Or maybe a thumb? Could have been. Do you notice his eye? Yeah. Yeah. A little redness there. Very hard to detect a palm on your screen. We can see it from one side. Corner Tubbs. Tubbs. The referee to Page about his gloves. Corner Tubbs trying to get him to slide right, Carlos. Get away from that right hand. But he keeps going left, walking into that right hand. He's going left and pulling straight back. Uh, all, all, all Page has to do is follow and walk down in on him, follow behind a couple of jabs, and he can land that big right hand. We're in the second half of the second round in Buffalo. Tubbs not doing a great deal. Throws a right there, and Page just does a little shuffle and toys with a left throw by Tubbs connected. That was blocked by Greg Page, and now will walk to his right and away from him. Page is definitely being bothered by left eye calls. You're right. He's blinking real good. Must have caught a shot in it. Could have caught a, you know, an errant thumb in there. Could have. Touch what's that touch to take the left from Greg Page. Shouldn't take those shots. And he shouldn't tell them it ain't hurting because they're going to be hurting those kind of punches. Couple of big heavyweights in the ring with the WBA world title on the line. We're watching it live from Buffalo, New York. Page got to him in both the first and second round, certainly in the early part of this round. That's done a great deal of damage the last minute or so. Touch tries to be off and gets the right hand through. Just seconds remaining now in round number two in Buffalo. You know this... Greg Page springs to his feet for round number three, a defense of the WBA Heavyweight Championship. Greg Page just did a no-no. He blew his nose, and, you know, he shouldn't do that kind of stuff, especially when his eye is irritated like it is, because it can blow up and close. Oh, he's taking some jabs right on the eye. It may be a sign of the cavalier attitude on Greg's part reappearing, but it's well in front of his career. Well, a big man, they can go either one at any moment. Scheduled for 15 rounds. Well, I don't know. That kind of stuff's not necessary. I mean, you know, that clown, and forget about it. He's a fighter. Yeah, but that's nothing. Well, he sees that Lee in the first round. Tony Tubbs shouldn't clown either. I mean, you know, it's just as soon yeah. This for the title, for God's sake. It's a lot of stake for them. Page continues to shuffle around this way, the hand, his hand down low, as does the challenger Tubbs. Tubbs is talking to him. Tubbs complete the stain of, of Greg Page. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Both men ignorant of the fact that one mistake, letting themselves open for one moment to do it. You see that right hand that Tubbs is throwing, Carlos? Jimmy Ellis has been working with him. He used to throw a right hand right down the pike, and that's what he's doing right now. Exactly. Page better watch himself. He better be sliding away from that shot, because that's pay dirt. Saw Tubbs mostly to his own head saying, come on up here, throw it up here. That's the halfway mark of the third round. There's a nice right hand to the body by Tubbs. Yep. Seems to be gaining more confidence as he goes along here. Page was out to take him out of the first round. He got through that. A rough time in the second, but looks very poised, very confident right now. He shouldn't be doing that, though. He's got his hands by his side. I mean, he should be. I mean, this is the, the title fight for the heavyweight title. Right. You know, he should be taking care of business here. Uh. 
most of the ring movement created by Page. He dances around there, motions a lot, doesn't throw a great deal. Dean up short to the left there, left thrown by Tuck. Tuck, two jabs, missed. He cut a couple of the way in a combination from Greg Page. Greg Page's eyes are starting to close. Yeah. Definitely when he, he blew that nose in the corner. That was a no-no completely. How did they get off of things up in the final 25 seconds of round three? Crowd loving it. They're being entertained by these two. Page shrugging his shoulders, as you see. Both men with their hands held oh so low. Getting late now. Seconds remaining, and this is the third round in Buffalo. With Angelo Dundee, Carlos Palomino, I'm Don Chevrier. Ringside, round four, Page and Tubbs, WBA World Heavyweight Championship at stake. You notice the way that Vince Reno is controlling this fight? He's a big fellow. Those guys better not mess with him. And he really takes control of the fight. He's the third heavyweight in this ring. Good, good, good referee. And the game continues. You don't scare me. Go ahead. Take your best shot by both these fighters. Right, Carlos? Exactly. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's too bad because uh, they're both good fighters. They, they, they don't need that. They should go out there and take care of business. This is for the heavyweight title. The most prestigious uh, title in the world, you know. It is not an exhibition of showmanship unto itself. No, no. It's too much a stake. I mean, to, to win the title. You know, you tasted that. You know what it means, Carlos. Definitely, you know, and uh, like you said, it's not, it's not a show. It's not a show. Uh, those shots hurt when you get hit. <laughs> yeah, there's Tubbs saying, "Come on, Fine. Tubbs is doing that from his experience with Muhammad Ali in camp, but that's a no-no. -no. Nobody could be a Muhammad Ali. A lot of tried, unsuccessfully. What an inspiration he has been, though, to all of boxing. The Sugar Ray Leonard team, the closest. I'm surprised that the quicker hands belong to Tubbs, Carlos. He's quicker, and, and, and Paige's got to be very, very careful to keep his chin down low, because that guy's got a heck of a right hand. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I, uh, I've i been watching uh, Paige in the corner, and uh, he, he's breathing very hard. I think uh, he came in with a less than full gas tank. Well, the gas tank will get lower as the fight continues. We're in round four, they begin to open it up. Well, yeah, the stronger the two is guy is Paige. The quicker guy is Tubbs, oddly enough. Paige at 239, remember, 10 pounds heavier. Buffalo. We heard Tuck Handers telling him to 